What's up guys, it's your boy Anime Boom, and I am back for another video, man, and WWE 2K24 is gonna release very soon, probably like 15, 17 days, really, it's coming around the corner, and man, I love wrestling games, man, I really started getting into it, like WWE, really SmackDown vs. Raw, around that time, like 2009, that SmackDown vs. Raw, but I love the 2K series, 2K14, like, when I was, like, uh, younger, 2K14 was my game, I love that game, and I seen it was bringing back, uh, 40 years of WrestleMania, because 30 years of WrestleMania was just so golden, and I just love wrestling games, man, so I was like, man, is 2K24 gonna be any good, so I seen the trailer, and I was like, it's a cool trailer, it's a cool trailer, but I gotta, I gotta mention it. I have a problem, multiple problems with WWE 2K24. There are problems with it. So, first of all, let's start off with 2K14. 2K14 is such a goaded game for real. You got the defeat the streak. It was this thing where you can face a computer. It's the Undertaker. You got to defeat the streak because Undertaker had the streak at the time. And it's one of the hardest things. Like, oh my God, it used to be so tough to play that. And it... Took me a while to beat Undertaker, man, because he used his wizard powers, and then he could, like, get out of a pinfall, and he, and he would turn off the lights, and then he'll be standing up and, like, do a choke slam on you, and he had finishers multiple times. It was crazy. He really would. Uh, it was really just crazy, but Defeat the Streak used to be fun, and then you had the whole 30 years of WrestleMania, and... At that time, man, WWE, they used to be so good. This is kind of before the DLC era of wrestling games and stuff, but at this time, if I could go back, 2K14, I would have got the whole roster for the DLC. I would have got everything for this game because this game has earned it. 2K, any game on a PlayStation 3 or Xbox has earned my respect with that. They used to just give you good characters and good DLC and stuff. And, and the, uh, the game was just easy and fun to play. But, uh, yeah, they had the story mode, 30 years of WrestleMania. And I feel like that game just had every moment that you wanted to see. They had every single person there. 2014, WWE just had everybody. They had, like, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold, The Rock, Jericho, Edge, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Jericho, Big Show. Everybody was there in... I just love that about the game. So you got basically every moment from the past WrestleMania. Like, they, everybody was there. They didn't have Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, like, the Dudley boys wasn't in it. But it was like, okay, they all they got is the ladder matches. Besides the ladder matches, Jeff Hardy never had a good WrestleMania match like that. But, yeah, like, they just really killed it in 2K14. So I was expecting 2K24 to just go crazy with the 40 years of WrestleMania in... I was realizing, like, man, man, this is one of the problems of the game. Uh, first of all, the roster, I don't know what's going on with the roster, but half of them, like, I don't know half of the people. Half of the people are NXT people, and, you know, they got married. I mean, I'm overdoing it. NXT people, they're going to put them on a roster, but I don't care about NXT people, and... You got the main roster people, and some of the main roster people are really, you know, bad. I feel like uh, sometimes the roster can be kind of bad, but they got good people, too. I'm not about to act like the whole roster's trash, but the roster does play a big problem. I'm like, man, some of these people, are, I'm not about to ever play with Montez Ford. That's my boy, but I'm never about to play with Ivar or uh, Tozawa. Those characters, I'm never going to play with. I know I'm not going to play with them, but... Uh, yeah, let's get into the next thing, because I don't want to be negative on the, on the roster. They're great wrestlers, but, uh, one of the biggest people I feel like is, like, you need him in WWE 2K24. You need him. Without him, it's just the 40 years, it's like, you basically just making WWE 2K14, uh, 30 years of WrestleMania all over again. You need Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is, like, the man of the last decade. I said he's the king of the last decade. Think about it. 2010, Nexus. 2011, he won the U.S. title and won Money in the Bank. 2012, world title. 2013, won the WWE Championship. 2014, won the WWE Championship. 2015, won the Intercontinental Championship. He just has moment after moment after moment. 
had to retire in 2016. Daniel Bryan just owns the 2010s, man. 2016, uh, SmackDown Live. 2017, he was still SmackDown Live. I'll say 2017 was his weakest year, but he was good at just being on SmackDown and stuff. 2018, he comes back. 2019, the stuff with Kofi Kingston. And he was the champion again. In 2018, he was the champion too. 2020, uh, this when he started to chill, cool down. In 2021, he goes for the Dead Day Championships. And then he leaves WWE. And he was always just on point. And I know that was already into the 2020s. But the whole decade of 2010, he was just on point in if you don't have his WrestleMania moments, like the one with Kofi Kingston and the 2014 moment, and then you could do the Intercontinental Championship stuff. That mo- Those moments, it, it's not going to feel right, man. And Daniel Bryan's not the only one. You got Edge. Edge is another one. It's like, you need Edge's moments. You got the triple threat with John Cena. You got the match with Chris Jericho. You got... The, the ladder matches, you got the match with The Undertaker, you got the match he just had with Roman Reigns, the match he had with Finn Balor, he's had his matches too, it's like, the match with Mick Foley, that was in 2K14, you've had moments, and I just hope they figure it out, and they gotta start having these good relationships with people, man, just, they can't keep nobody around, Goldberg kind of was the same way, Goldberg was in 2K14, he wasn't even on the roster at the time, but two, I think I've been hearing like him and he, he ain't been having a good relationship with WWE because he didn't get his final match. So Goldberg might not be in 2K14. Chris Jericho's another guy. You need Chris Jericho. You get the match with him and Triple H. You could do the match with him and CM Punk. You could do the match with him and and uh, him and Kevin Owens. The, it's, he has his matches too. The match with him and Shawn Michaels. You need that match. There's matches that you need. Um. Big Show. Big Show's another one. Big Show, he had this match WrestleMania 2000, the triple threat with John Cena, the match with Cody Rhodes. There's a, there's a few matches. There's a few matches, but he ain't gonna be in the game. There is uh, Mark Henry. I know he ain't gonna, got nothing. Mark Henry. Uh, it's gonna suck. I'm just gonna say that. Like most, They're gonna have to carry most of the WrestleMania with all the old people. WWE kind of, they kind of got those legend skills with all the old 80s people, like Hulk Hogan's people, and then all the at- some of the Attitude Era people, the main people, like Undertaker, The Rock, Stone Cold, they're around, and they got all of them around, but there are a few people missing. There are a few people missing. Now, now I think that affects the game a lot. CM Punk, can- he just got there, so he's probably not going to be in the game in the story mode, and I wish CM Punk was there. You could have the match with him and Chris Jericho and the match with him and Undertaker. The Undertaker match for sure should be in there. But the Chris Jericho match isn't going to be in there. But that could be on too. CM Punk got his stuff. I just wish um, they would have it right. They got to put a lot of more like recent stuff in there because they can't keep people around. Like They're going to have most of the women stuff. Because the women, the women, they kind of they keep the women around. But the some of the men are just not there. You got the Becky Lynch moments. You got the Charlotte moments. You got the Bianca Belair moments. You got the Rhea Ripley moments. You got the Asuka moments. You got those moments, but Sasha Banks ain't going to be in the game either. There are just a few people I think they could have, they need in the game. Without them, the 40 years of WrestleMania is really going to feel like 10 years of WrestleMania. I can't keep doing you know, John Cena matches, The Rock matches, Stone Cold. I want to see all the other people, too. I want to see all the other people, too. And I think I heard they're doing a Roman Reigns, like, kind of finish the story type of mode. I think that's kind of cool. It reminds me of the defeat the streak mode. And I think that that's, that's a cool idea, man. I think that's a cool idea. But tell me how y'all feel about WWE 2K24. Do you think 2K24 is going to be better than 2k14 or do you feel like it's gonna disappoint and they're not gonna have the people that we really need and the Daniel Bryan one is just sad to me that one we needed Daniel Bryan man that hurts that hurts I hope they made a deal or something with AEW just let them use Daniel Bryan in the game please just please let them use the Daniel Bryan it's just a goal but peace out y'all I'll see y'all in the next video peace